So the college process, to be honest, I, I wasn't that familiar with it until I started going into high school and I started doing my research. So many people, Guam recruitment is very different from recruitment in the States. So many people might say, do this, do that, but it's very difficult because of our situation where um, living on Guam, we're very isolated. We super expensive to go out in the States and you may be, be able to only do it once a year or once two years, once three years. And for me, it started, I guess my freshman year, or it started like a long time ago, but I would say freshman year when my goal, my goal, my first goal was to get on an MLS academy and move to the States and live with a random family or live on my own and just play soccer and go to school in the States, which, my trials came into play, but due to un uh, other um, circumstances, I wasn't able to move. Um, that's where it started. And that's where coaches started to let me know that um, playing there is, I could, anyone could play in that, or I, I, not anyone, but I, I guess they said that I could play at that level, which got me thinking if, if I want education too, I'll, I'll start the college recruitment process. And it all started with the Columbus Crew um, trial when I was 14. I had to get film ready. And I watched through, I, my dad, um, when I was young, I know he, does it, he never wanted to do it, but I always asked him to videotape my games. And now we are very fortunate that my Kuju, we have my Kuju and all that, but a few years ago we didn't. And my dad had to record every single game and to be honest, he, he, I think he enjoyed it and he's really good at it. <laughs> he didn't miss the good parts, he didn't miss the bad parts, which was really important because film is one of the most important things coming from Guam because we are not able to leave the island every week and play in front of scouts, play in front of coaches. Film will be the most important thing. Um, I started making film. I edited my own film when I was 14. I learned on my own. I made many mistakes. I had to redo many videos. I sucked at it in the beginning, but I got better at it. And now I could download any software and just figure out and make a highlight film easily. So started when I was 14 with film, making film, because you need to show coaches how you play. When you're making film, um, it's good to have a highlight film and of a game, a full game, like a full game, a full half. But a lot of people think that you could play any, put any game you want, a game where you score like 10 goals. That's not going to look good because um, that just means the people you're playing against suck. <laughs> so you need to get a game where your opponent, your competition is good and you're playing good. As much as you can, try to contact them and get on the phone with them and explain your situation, why you're different. And if you're on the Guam national team, that's a big bonus because I'm pretty sure you're going to be the only one on a national team in that whole roster. Second, um, exposing yourself, I guess, exposing, um, going out there as much as you can. Maybe, I know I understand some families and some players aren't able to go out there, but at, at 14 or 15, I went to San Jose on my own without my parents. I lived with a random family I've never met in my life. I uh, 
stayed with them for a month and I just played soccer <laughs> for a month. I just played soccer and I just was there on my own, just biked to the field. I, I did my own thing. So I guess kids now, they need to start taking responsibility and asking their parents instead of buying a new PS4, I never had games or anything, but instead of buying new games, maybe can we save up money to go to the summer or go to the States in the summer and get exposed? Their exposure, um, you need to try to play as much as you can, play at a higher level, because Guam, we have good players, but it's not as consistent as in the States. Um, so you need to play at a high level, expose yourself, play at as many ID camps as you can. Also, ID camps, I would be careful because in an ID camp, sometimes, they don't tell you this, but sometimes, they're not looking to recruit kids. They're looking to just take your money. <laughs> um, so I would recommend what I did was I went to an ID camp where there were 50 coaches, 50 plus coaches. There were 500 plus kids. Makes your chance of being seen very slim. But I went to that and a few coaches saw me and I got recruited and I stayed in touch with them and I made it to the select team and I recommend going to as much ID camps whether if it's your dream school then I recommend going to that ID camp because each school has specific ID camps and just expose yourself play at a high level another important thing about recruitment is communication and connections so there are many stubborn kids who don't know how to talk on the phone, who don't know how to talk to people. And that's what my dad taught me at a young age is that connections are super important in life. And that's what he taught me. He said, people are connected. The world is, the world is big, but it's small at the same time. And we need to be able to communicate because you never know when this person knows that person and when that person knows another person and then you might get a trial or you might talk to a coach so that's what happened to me too i i started communicating with um uh teammates which knew another coach which knew another coach which when where i was able to play for their team and i've never talked to them in my life but people are nice i guess and they let me stay in their homes and i just play for their team so video which is important um level of play exposure um communication is important and also one, one more point also i guess how you persistence persistence is very important so um in when you're starting your recruitment process you want to start emailing coaches as many coaches as you can because from guam let's be honest we don't have the luxury of saying i want to go to this school and i'm only going to email this school um coaches in the states they could watch and play players every week every single day they could go to a game fly to the fly drive two hours to watch a game they're not going to fly 19 plus hours they're going to watch the kids in the states playing da academy playing with u.s national team players playing with paraguay national team players they're gonna so emailing and being persistent you just gotta keep emailing even though um even though what do you call it they don't reply back to you it's important to keep on emailing them because at the end of the day if you have a kid that is emailing you once every week and a kid that emails you once and doesn't get reply back to your email who are you gonna pick and they're the same level you're gonna pick the one that wants to be at your school obviously so being persistent in your emails and also doing your research, doing your research on the school and on the coach and um, what level you realistically can play at is important. Um, just do your research because now we're at a day and age where we have YouTube, we have Google. Um, you can search up how to make a CV, how to make a highlight video. You can search up Every, you can search up everything. It's, it's all there. That's what my dad says. Just, it's all there. We have no excuses, our generation, to, to be slacking. We have internet. We have as many limit, um, 
a ton of resources. And I guess lastly, it's just how you, how you hold yourself accountable every single day. Um, a lot of kids, as they're growing up, you can see a lot of kids on Guam, we're every, we have a good level on Guam, and then at a certain point, um, a lot of kids plateau or they dip their level. And that's only because they don't stay focused and they don't hold themselves accountable. accountable. Four years went by super quick. My high school went by super quick. And those four years, I put in a lot of hours of work every day. And at the end of the day, good players will be see seen. So you just got to, you have to, they say opportunity comes or success comes when luck meets opportunity. And you need to be ready for that opportunity. And you can't be ready by just playing games all day and not putting in the work. Working hard is, everyone does it. So what's going to set you apart from besides that? It's your quality. I guess that's basically summarizes my, what I would recommend for the college recruitment process.